I've been waiting a hundred years to record this video because I'm undertaking the Welling Garden City Centenary Walk and this is around the town. The opening part of my walk I've just come from um, a field which is opposite Shoplands near Knightsfield. Um, I know this path here is on the walk and this is my starting point. So the first landmark that I've come to I've crossed over Knightsfield next to Welling Garden City Cricket Club and there's a little sign on that lamppost there and it's taking me through this little wood which is the first area I've never been before. So just a little loop uh, walking through um, on the outskirts of Welling Garden City Cricket Club and then you come to St John's Church in Digswell and it's taking us around the side of that. Drop down from this bridleway, um, this is the Bessemer Road here and you just walk straight across and down this little path you can maybe just make out the sign there. This to me is the iconic view of Welling Garden City when I've been away and I see this I know I'm home. The Welling Garden City Viaduct, um, I believe built around the time of Queen Victoria. Um, it's absolutely stunning and oh look, there's a train coming across for us. Under the viaduct you um, go past the little car park into Harmer Green Lane which you can see there which is just over the road, over the road and then we're going up here. So after only about 50 yards you turn off of Harmer Green Lane and up this path, um, Chewing Path I think it may be called, um, this concrete um, path as was and there's still parts of it as you can see laying today was apparently built by Italian prisoners of war. The stretch of the walk is really really lovely, um, it's a perfectly gorgeous morning and I'm walking up this gravelly path here with just little rows of poppies all to the side. Delightful. Chewingbury Farm Hotel, nice place to eat when the restaurants are open. Um, nice farm shop here now and we've walked through here and um, just turning left now towards a sign posted fish farm. So I missed a sign somewhere um, but eventually ended up at the B1000s Hartford Road which is where you're supposed to go turned right by a sign by Archers Green and I'm now coming up this public footpath. Not sure where I missed that sign. For the first time today I really have no idea where I am. I'm guessing I'm in the Panshanger area according to the map. Hardings to my left. So we're going straight across here. Other than the stress of um, when you go more than about three minutes without seeing a sign worrying you've gone the wrong way. It's the other sign there so I'm good. Um, this is just an absolute delight. Check in soon. Tough place to find because there was no sign when I came out of the footpath roughly where my camera is pointing. This is Pan's Hangar Drive in front of me by the roundabout and you need to come straight ahead along this footpath through these bollards uh, past where that white van is. So you cross a tiny little road behind me um, where there was no sign, I just decided to plump for going straight ahead because that was the last sign I had and then you reach this pole which is directing me right and it's by this sort of little crossroads here, path, 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 path and we're going right. Slightly wrong and come out over there, I've now gone round in a little circle, um, there's a roundabout just up around that bend and if you walk round and you come to Holwell Hyde Lane and we're taking a left here, back on track. So a series of um, little public footpaths have led me to this big, uh, well not that big, but a playing field anyway. And as I walk across the playing field and I've stumbled across the Welcome to the Commons Local Nature Reserve and the sign, which is just ahead of me past that gate, has taken me in. Lovely walk through the well signposted nature reserve, come out the other side onto um, the golf course. Four, a deserted looking golf course to be honest with you. Um, starting to cloud over slightly, really lovely temperature. I missed another sign somewhere and ended up at the A414. I thought, no. So um, the entrance to the clubhouse for golf club was right behind me. So I walked in there 
um, walked up a path and I've stumbled across the route again. Little gate and path, um, finally, let's try and get through this. Oh, that's heavy. Um, out of the golf course, I did not enjoy that section. Um, very unclear where you're going at times. Golfers scowl at you. Um, hoping for something a bit more attractive in the next phase. Golf course and down the little path, you walk along this main road for a little bit and then it directs you over the roads and you need um, to find this lamppost, that sign, little path here and then you're finding this sign for Gascoigne Estates, public footpath and we're going straight up here. Uh, Stamper Lake, say Welling Garden City beauty spot. Having made my way down to the lake, I might possibly have gone the wrong way around it. Um, again, there wasn't a sign. Um, I'm now at the exit and I've got to cross over the road to the lake on the other side of the road. Hey, <laughs> this is vaguely ridiculous. So it takes us down this path. You have to go under the bridge, but the bridge is flooded. And there's a long diversion which I can't make sense of, so it's shoes and socks off time. So having just brushed through the village of Lemsford, a part of it, we're at yet another golf course. Um, hopefully that's a sign over this fairway ahead of me. Uh, two golf courses in one day and not a shot hit badly. That's new for me. So after whinging a bit about the last golf course, look at this. That pocket hole, absolutely stunning sign on the path over there that points towards that green hut. Do not go towards the green hut. I've just spent about half an hour walking around in circles. You should turn right, which isn't where it points. And here's the next marker across the fairway here. When you finally get out of the golf course, you have the wagoners right in front of you. Turn left there to A at Green, where you turn right and go over the little bridge over the A1 um, to the main road. Turn left until you hit here, the Red Lion pub and then you're going over there, back into Sherrod's Wood. Ahead of us, the last real landmark, which is the Six Ways Junction, which back in the day is where six highways used to meet. Now it's more commonly where six dogs meet. And here we are, back at where I started. Um, it's a lovely walk. There's a few bits of signage which are going to be a little questionable, um, particularly on the golf courses, and particularly the one that is pointing in the wrong direction. Um, on Brockett Golf Course. Um, my advice, go to the loo before you leave because I never found anywhere to go, um, particularly in these lockdown days, that was tricky. Take a little hand towel with you because if you do have to wade through that water underneath the bridge on the A1, um, then that will come in useful and wear shoes that are easy to get off. Anyway, I hope some of you have found this enjoyable, interesting to watch. Will I do it again? Well, only time will tell.